Hi guys, Chief from Pro Drones. So at this point in time, it's the day before Chinese New Year Eve. Uh, we just like to wish our viewers a happy Chinese New Year to those who celebrate and happy holidays to those who are going to take this opportunity to have a great break. So today we have the two products in front of us. Uh, this is the Matrice 4E and the Matrice 4T. They're a product line right above the Mavic 3 Enterprise. The product is not only situated slightly above, it's also priced slightly above. Uh, let's first take a look and see what's uh, in the box. Right, so they are both identical except for the drone. Let's put one aside. So straight up, the box is a little bit more beefier compared to the Mavic 3. Uh, just for comparison, we have one here. So you can see it's larger and thicker. Right. The box also has a few new features. One of it is they have some of these um, holes here. So you can actually attach um, straps onto it uh, in the event that you want to carry it like a bag. You know, there are accessories out there. Uh, there's also a strap here which we can attach to these two hook points so you can sling it, right? Like a messenger bag kind of thing. Okay, so inside. All right, so let's start from the left to the right. Of course, you have the usual mandatory documentation packet and some stickers. You have now the remote. It's similar to the RC Plus. In fact, this is the RC Plus 2. Um, we'll go into the details, but there are small differences here and there. Next, of course, you have the drone. Okay, so it comes with a nice cover. All right, we'll look into detail after this. The charger is similar to the one in the Mavic 3 Enterprise. It's also the same 100 watt charger, right? So you get AC in with two outputs as usual. Uh, if it's a single connection, it's 100 watts. If you have both, one will be 90, one will be 10. This time, it comes with a charging hub. You can fit four batteries inside. Uh, you, of course, you just fit the type C cord here, right? And you have the option to charge up to 90% or to 100%. Now tucked under here, you have the strap which I mentioned earlier. So this is to carry the bag. You have a few USB cables, so A to C, as well as a C to C. And power cords for almost every region in here. In fact, there's one, two, three, four, five, six, and seven. Now in here, you also get this card with a tool. So what this tool is for is to re open up this hatch here. So you remove it. It basically acts like a pry bar. So you can just pop this open. And inside is where you put the cellular modem. Last but not least, you get props. Do take note, there are two different types of props uh, that are given this time. So, if we sort by type, you'll notice that one is broad. All right? Oh, let's get another type A. All right, so this is A to A. So you notice that this is wider. And this is narrower. So these are the, the narrow ones are the standard props. The wide ones are the low noise propellers. So please make sure that if you're gonna use low noise propellers, all four are also the low noise propellers. And the same if they are standard, make sure all four are standard propellers. So we're gonna do a close, take a closer look at the drone and the updated software and remote uh, next. So what I have in front of me right now are the two Matrice 4s and the two Mavic 3 Enterprises. So let's start with what's in common with these two. Uh, they now have the RTK antenna built in, uh, not an accessory like the one here. All right. Number two is they have the cellular dongle bay now fixed. It's right under this DJI cover. 
they both have a 48 megapixel wide angle camera for a payload and a laser rangefinder that's effective up to 1.2 kilometers. They both now have their type C slots at the back here together with the micro SD slot and they both use the same battery. Um, one thing to note, the type C port at the back doesn't charge the battery so you still have to use the charging hub as well as the provided charger. Okay, let's start with the Mavic 3 T and the Matrice 4 T. So the difference between the M4 T and the M3 T uh, is actually mainly in the payload. That's the biggest difference. On the M3 T, what you had was a wide angle camera, a seven times optical zoom RGB, and a 640 by 512 thermal. On the new one, you have the same thing. Uh, you have a 48 megapixel wide. You have a 48 megapixel medium, which is at three times optical zoom. And you have a 48 megapixel seven times optical zoom camera. A laser range finder up to 1.2 kilometers and a 640 by 512 resolution thermal which of course has the super resolution function which will upscale it to 1024 by768 so for the M4E the difference with the payload is um, so with the M3E you would have just a 20 megapixel wide angle and a 12 megapixel 7 times optical zoom camera on the M4E what you would have is 20 megapixel wide angle followed by a 3 times optical zoom 48 megapixel and a 7 times optical zoom 48 megapixel of course you have the laser range finder as well and the remote controllers receive an upgrade as well so this is the RC Pro Enterprise that comes with the Mavic 3 Enterprise and this is the RC Plus 2 that comes with the Matrice 4 straight up you can see there's a bigger screen and it has the shortcut buttons um, ergonomically similar to the RC Plus which comes with the M350 and the M30 um, there are several changes uh, which I feel are significant and more useful so first things first um, it has a larger screen second is in for this one you had to deal with only the built-in battery with this one, you can actually fit WB37s inside. You can fit WB37s inside, as well as install the cellular dongle here. Things to note, the previous model had all the ports at the top. This time it's simplified. So the, only the HDMI and the USB-A is here. The USB-C and the SD card slot has been moved to the bottom. So this is the brief introduction to the Matrice 4 series. Um, we will follow this up with some in the field tests. Uh, with the M4E, we will actually do some mapping tests to actually compare the performance relative to the M3E. For the m 4 t we're gonna do some inspection and surveillance work um, just to see how it stacks up to the M3T. If you like what you saw, please like and subscribe. Uh, any questions, you can email us or in the, put them in the comments below. And as always, thank you and fly safe.